we serve God around these parts. Uh, Alpha and Omega, he be finished before we start. Uh, the great I am, the one who let us know who we are. Uh, Christ the cardiologist created me a clean heart. This is the hair that we working with. It's a whole lot of hair. And we are going to box braid it. All right, welcome to my channel. We're gonna start out by moisturizing her hair with some Shea Moisture Curl Enhancing Smoothie. Now this girl has a whole lot of hair. This is just the back half of her head that you're looking at. So that's a blessing. <laughs> uh, we're gonna put in uh, a set of knotless box braids, um, medium size. You never want to do a protective style without prepping the hair to be tucked away for a while. Uh, she's gonna be swimming and all that uh, with these braids, so we wanna make sure that her hair is properly moisturized and cared for. If you do that for curly hair, you can have beautiful hair like hers. <laughs> Keep it moisturized properly. So we've sectioned off most of the back so I can get started on the bottom row. And this is what that ended up looking like in the back. All right, so here I'm gonna give you a close-up of my technique. I know different people have different ways of doing things. And I'm sorry about the angle, this is the best footage that I got. So I started out with um, some Murray's Edge Wax and I put that at the base of the section. Divided the section into three and started braiding. And so what I do is I do uh, what I call two rounds. So I grab the left piece and then I grab the right piece. That's one round. And then we'll do that again. Grab the left piece, back around, grab the right piece. And while I'm holding the right piece, I'm gonna feed in my first piece of hair. All right, so I feed in the first leg into that pinch where I'm holding that right leg, and then I put the other on top of her head. So then I braid it in, grab the left piece, grab the right piece, and then I pull the other one down and put it in there with the right piece, and then I grab the left piece and grab the right piece. Now I'm ready for the second piece of hair that I'll be feeding in. I feed it in the same way, put it in my pinchers, Put one leg on top of her head and braid it in. Left piece, right piece, then pull that one down and add it in and braid it on in. Left piece. And then I'm gonna grab the right piece and I'm ready to feed in my third strand of hair. Same way. I grab one leg of it and feed it into my fingers that are holding the right piece. And then I put the other leg on top of her head where it's out of my way and I braid it in, grab the left piece, grab the right piece, pull it down from off top of her head into my fingers. And now I can just braid all the way because I'm not feeding in any more hair. And that is my knotless box, box braid method. I imagine a lot of people do it that way. Um, and then I'll just, she has long hair and so her hair is more than half the length of these box braids and so I'm doing a constant process of reaching into the um, edge control as needed and adding it to her hair and slicking it down. So here I'm gonna show you how I divide the hair. I first grab the hair and divide it in two. And then I'll grab each of those halves and divide them into two even halves so that I have four. And I'm gonna continue that process. So then I'll take um, each of those four sections and divide them in half. And then I'll keep doing that until I have strands that are the size that I want to feed in. And of course that depends on the size of the uh, box braids that you're try trying to achieve, small, medium, or large, or jumbo. You wanna get a spice rack or a um, drying rack to put your hair on. Uh, because it makes the time go faster. If you do like I do, a little bit at a time, as many as you can fit on the chair or a couple chairs, um, it slows you down. So you wanna have that spice rack, prep your hair before you get started on your client and um, you can just move. So 
But you see how many times I keep dividing those strands into halves? That's the best way to ensure that you have even halves. So here's the hair, I mean even pieces, but she chose Made Beauty or M-A-Y-D-E. And when we, when we uh, finished the back, it looked pretty good. This is how she likes to style it. Excuse all the photo bombers. <laughs> um, so yeah, we use solid red on the very top two or three rows and the rest of her head was the ombre color. She did go swimming, so that's why her braids look fuzzy here. Uh, but you know, turned out well. <laughs>